We are going in-depth this Tuesday. Now, in this new digital age, there's a modern way to celebrate Gasparilla. A new festival mixes beads and terabytes, pirates and pixels, and invasions with interactive media. I met the men hoping to blend the Bay Area's brightest minds with new business models and cutting-edge technology. Joining me right now to talk about the Gasparilla Interactive Festival, I have closest to me, Vinny Tafiro. Vinny, thank you for joining us. He is the, uh, the head of the Gasparilla Interactive Festival. And next to him is Mark Sokol, who is with ConnectWise, a uh, big IT company in the Bay Area. Gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having okay, us. Okay, so first of all, whose idea was this? And tell me what exactly is an interactive festival? Well, the idea goes back about three years uh, with the American Advertising Federation. I was president at the time. And... Um, we decided to create an endowment fund for education scholarships. Oh, okay. And uh, so the plan was to create some sort of event. And two years later, last year, the idea came to become, uh, to create a Gasparilla Interactive Festival. And so we partnered with our young professional division, which is Add to Tampa Bay. And the two organizations kind of pitched in with their past presidents to create the Gasparilla Interactive Festival. So we're a separate nonprofit entity from those two organizations, but my two board of director board members are one past president from each of those organizations. Uh -huh. So Mark, the big deal is technology. This is the one thing that you want people to know about is that Tampa Bay, we don't have to shudder and look in the shadows of Austin or the triangle up in Raleigh, right. uh, Raleigh Durham that we've we've got stuff here to offer. Yeah, sure. We like to say at Connectwise, we're one of the companies and uh, th this uh, what we're talking about here, um, the, the Interactive Festival is one of the, and we're one of the companies that's helping bring Silicon Valley to Tampa Bay. That's how, mm -hmm. how we like to do that. Uh, ConnectWise software company, Tampa Bay, we've been here actually 32 years. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we have 700 colleagues just uh, over by the airport there. Okay. And we're all about technology. Our, we also look at technology, uh, we kind of joked a little bit about being a disruptor, right? But yeah. re the reality is every business, small business, needs technology today. Sure. So this is an important, uh, you know, important topic for anybody, no matter the size of their organization. Mm -hmm. So you're using Gasparilla kind of as the platform because we got the Gasparilla Pirates, we got the Kids Parade, we got the Music Festival, we got the Film Festival. Now, when you say interactive, is that simply because you want people to know that this is about what's going on on the web today? Uh, not, not so much. For me, uh, interactive is a large umbrella that really when we look at our society today, when we look at technology today, careers today, any two things that are interacting together really encompass the interactive field. This year our content leans quite a bit towards the branding and advertising side because of the oh, advertising okay. industry starting this. Uh -huh. But we also are looking at entrepreneurialism, we're looking at technology and job growth and going to really grow at the event year after year in different segments. Now is, is some of this got to do with networking too because like any business you need to know what the competition is doing not only so that you can uh, know how, how to beat them but how you can learn from them and that this networking idea especially in the technology field these days it is a must. If you don't have it, you're not going to be a big player. Sure. Uh, yeah, we believe uh, ConnectWise is a big part of our uh, company and how we, we, we bring our customers together. We bring them together because not everybody has one single idea that's the, the one that they're going to take it and own it. We believe the sharing of ideas, and this is a perfect forum to, to do that, is just going to benefit anybody and everybody. Uh, in any business uh, or any field, you know, that they today. Now, using the Gasparilla as the draw, I know that Austin has this thing called SXSX. I didn't realize what it was called, what the name of it was. I knew that <laughs> yes. they had a big technology forum out there. Using Gasparilla just to what? Just just because people are familiar with that name? Uh, yeah. There, there was a cohesiveness with the, the Gasparilla brand is a 110 year old brand, and so there's equity in that brand as a tourist draw for Tampa Bay, as a collaborative. Uh, platform and then having the music festival, the film festival, and the art festival already in place uh, really lent itself to, to using that, that Gasparilla brand and collaborating where we can with the other festivals to make sure that it really is a large community event and that it takes advantage of that 110 year old brand. Now I didn't look at the speakers list, well yes yes, and no I did, so you're going to bring in a bunch of speakers too, who are those people and what are they going to be talking about? Um, the f four that we've got confirmed and listed right now. Uh Ferris Yakov, right. Joanna Lord, Peter Shankman, and Savannah Peterson from Shapeways. We have a fifth speaker that we'll be announcing probably by the end of this week, and then we've got three panel discussions. Okay, during the panel discussion, what are you, what are you going to talk about? 
Uh, the first is going to be on artificial intelligence as a job creator and destroyer. You know, Stephen Hawking doesn't like artificial intelligence. <laughs> I just read his article on it, and it scares me. But anyway. He, <laughs> Elon Musk is nervous about I it, I know, too. and he's it's, exactly it's a, right. Yeah, Bill Gates, too. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a hot topic right now. It's important. When we really look at, at the fact that technological unemployment is a word that's been used for over 100 years. Um, and it's gone back even longer than that when the first mechanical looms put hand weaving people out of jobs yeah and um, what we look at today is now it's not manufacturing jobs that are being put out by robots but it's algorithms that are replacing people and so what okay. we want to do is have this panel discussion about what that means for the industry for technology and also what it means for Tampa Bay and our job market isn't the scary part of that though is computers controlling computers it's one thing for man to be controlling the computers ie programming of it but when the the computer might start thinking about you know the problem with this planet is people if we didn't have people we'd be better off. And I know there are a lot of movies yeah. about that right now that are just, are just freaky out, totally. <laughs> and that's one of our panelists, uh, Reva Melissates, is actually a, an engineering uh, background, but also a philosophy background. Because you really, when you start looking at what is artificial intelligence means, we can't ignore the humanity side of what these computers do and what these algorithms do. Right. Even though we're pushing engineering and mathematics and science, mm -hmm. we can't lose fact of the humanity side of it. Let's talk about the Bay Area, because there, I, I love all these studies that come about every other week with a new list here and there. And one list said that we were horrible uh, in terms of providing jobs. The other list said that we were great, that we have a, a growing and burgeoning uh, population of tech people. The downtown Tampa and St. Petersburg are both building a lot more high rises and stuff. Where where do we really stand as compared to some of these other people that we think have have the edge on us technology wise? Why I've been around this area for the last 20 or so years, and I've seen it grow significantly. Uh, as actually across the country, if not globally, the biggest challenge is finding technology people, software people, really? engineers. Yeah, yeah. Glo globally it's a challenge, uh, but in Tampa Bay. Uh, we're lucky to have the USF and the local Florida colleges, and, and really that's how they're really feeding us great, bright young people uh, that are starting great careers here in Tampa. Can a festival like this be used almost as a recruiting tool, not only for people outside the state, but for high school students and other people that are within the state of Florida that say, you know, I kind of dig Florida weather, I'd like to stay mm -hmm. here and also have a good high paying job? Well, one of the things we're doing is, is putting together a webcast. So while it's a ticketed registered event for professionals to attend that yeah. day for the speaker series, we're going to make it available free as a webcast through the University of Tampa oh, cool. to any college or university that pre-registers if they want to, if a group of entrepreneurs at Florida State wants to show this, ca this webcast that day, they'll be able to coordinate it through the University of Tampa. So we're trying to out do that so that colleges, college graduates that are soon to be graduates look at Tampa Bay and go, wow, I didn't know that was going on down there um, wow. and I want to check it out. Mark, any idea about any kind of numbers you'd like to attract or, or that's any goals that you're setting on numbers or is that unimportant? On numbers, I think, you know, I think many can speak. Uh, the attendance for this, this year's event will be about 200 or so. Okay, and, and it's the movers and checkers of the 200 people you want there. Exactly. And more. Guys, let me know how this festival does and uh, especially, I, I may try to attend the artificial intelligence so I can throw in some of my unofficial, <laughs> non-artificial intelligence into the whole <laughs> argument here. Gents, thank you for stopping by. Good to see you. Thank All you right. for having thank us. You. Now, your weather on the nice forecast.